Good morning. I am Danielle Wiggins with your three news now morning update. It is Tuesday, March 30th, and today we are celebrating National Doctors Day. Here at WKYC, we want to say thank you to all of the doctors in Northeast Ohio and beyond for everything you do, and especially during the pandemic. Hundreds of you put your lives at risk every day to save our families, friends, and neighbors. We want to say thank you. And if you have a doctor in your family or community, leave a picture and a message in the comment section because we want you to join in on this celebration of doctors. And we have your top stories in just a moment. But first, downtown Cleveland is glowing this morning. We might be wearing shorts today and then in about 48 hours or less than 48 hours, a winter coat. Holly Strano has all you need to know about the ups and downs in the forecast. Holly. Thank you, Danielle. And as we get a look at the rest of the afternoon on your National Design Mart forecast, we are staying dry and warming up fast. Now, it is windy. <laughs> That's the thing. And the winds will continue to pick up some 20 to 30 miles an hour sustained with higher gusts a possibility. But we are staying dry, so even into the evening, 60s, low 70s, beautiful for grilling and just getting outside. And then it won't be until after midnight tonight that we see rain showers move in. And we'll continue to see some rain showers through the morning drive tomorrow. That is the view at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Notice we're still in the 50s and talking just rain showers. We'll have scattered showers throughout the morning drive. It'll be drier later tomorrow, but getting colder as temperatures fall back into the 40s. Then as we look ahead, we're gonna to continue to see that drop. And by Thursday, we've got lake effect snow possible. It's gonna be blustery. The good news is that we rebound really fast from this. On Friday, we're in the 40s with sunshine. And then this Easter weekend, we're talking low, mid 60s, partly to mostly sunny skies, 70 on Monday. Back to you. Well, thank you, Holly. And now to developing news. If you're a pet parent, pay attention. Several brands made by Midwestern Pet Foods sold nationwide have been recalled due to possible salmonella contamination. So far, no cases of illness have been reported. On your screen, you can see a picture of those foods impacted, but among the brands are K9X, Earthborn Holistic, Venture, and Sports Mix Wholesomes. To learn more details about this recall, we have all the information over at WKYC.com. Also developing this morning, Rocky River Police are reopening the investigation into several high school teachers. Investigators were made aware of new information over the weekend that could indicate criminal activity. The district confirmed reports staff members were talking inappropriately about a student. A special school board meeting will be held Thursday. And turning to a devastating story out of Lorain County, the search for a missing woman there has ended. Recovery team searching Lake Erie found the body of 18-year-old Elena Camacho inside a car pulled from the lake yesterday. She and 20-year-old Nathan Orono have been missing since February. Orono's body was found in the lake over the weekend. And an update on a tragic story out of Parma. We've learned the man charged in the murder of his five-year-old son will stay behind bars. Matthew Panamarenko appeared in court yesterday via video wearing a protective suit to prevent self-harm. He's facing one count of aggravated murder. The Akron Fire Department is apologizing after a firefighter turned his hose on a bystander while cleaning up a crime scene Saturday. The bystander was shooting video of the scene and you hear the fire crew telling him to stand back. The department says using the hose was unacceptable, inexcusable and misguided. Alrighty, time now for three things you need to know developing around the nation and beyond. Well, this morning, witness testimony continues in the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. We're expecting to hear from the teenager who recorded video on her cell phone as Chauvin put his knee across the neck of George Floyd for about nine minutes. The trial is expected to last three to four weeks. Also this morning, 
Cargo ships are finally moving freely through the Suez Canal. Dozens of ships have been waiting for the all clear after that colossal container ship was finally freed. The ship was stuck sideways in a narrow stretch of the canal for nearly a week and halted billions of dollars in commerce each day. Tugboats and high tide helped dislodge the boat, then salvage teams set it free. And great news for Volvo employees. The company is announcing it's increasing paid parental leave for all employees who become parents to 24 weeks. Employees will be paid 80% of their base pay by default, and employees will have the option of taking 19 weeks of fully paid leave within three years of becoming a new parent. Okay, well, let's check in on what's popping online because in your pop of the morning, Nike is suing over that Satan shoe controversy. Have you heard about it? Oh, you will soon. But we start with Lady Gaga's dog walker now out of the hospital. In an emotional video posted to his Instagram, Ryan Fisher is seen doing a little dance as he gets ready to leave the hospital. It's been just over a month since the dog napping incident when he was shot while walking Lady Gaga's pups in Hollywood. Ryan says during his recovery, one of his lungs kept collapsing and he had to have surgery to remove portions of it. Gaga's dogs were later found unharmed, but the suspects haven't been caught. Nike has filed a lawsuit over a collaboration between Little Nas X and Mischief. They released the very controversial Satan shoes. The company says they even have a drop of blood in the air bubble in the sneaker, which is a Nike Air Max 97 and costs $1,018, which is in reference to a Bible verse. Nike says they do not have a relationship with Mischief or Little Nas X, and they did not endorse the shoes. They are trying to get a judge to block all sales of the shoe. New movie posters released for Space Jam, A New Legacy, 25 years after the original. The film features just the kid from Akron, LeBron James. The movie's official Twitter account tweeted, Roll Call, the Toon Squad is back on the court. The posters feature some of your favorite Looney Tunes characters from the original Space Jam. A New Legacy will be in theaters July 16th. And the movie will also be released on HBO Max. So let us know, are you watching in theaters or at home? You can let us know in the comments section. Well, thank you for taking time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and the world. Make sure you continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Danielle Wiggins, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on go starting at 4.30 a.m. Have a great Tuesday and enjoy the warm temperatures <laughs> while they last, everybody.